April from PrimitiveMommy.com and what we're going to make today is chia porridge and what I'm going to try to do is give you some meal ideas um, on some of my videos. I get a lot of questions about what do we eat so um, the main one seems to be breakfast which seems to be our easiest thing to think of of what to eat because we do smoothies or um, the chia porridge, nut melts, chia pudding um, and fruit, fruit a lot, like some melon or um, anything fruit. <laughs> what I've got here is four cups of water and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one cup of coconut and I'm actually going to put a little bit more. Um, you can do as much as you want on your nut milks but I usually do a four to one ratio. Um, it's easy to remember and you can do Brazil nuts this way. Um, you can do almonds, just make sure you soak them first. Um, any nut you want, hazelnuts, but those also need to, need to be soaked in good clean water overnight. I'm using my Berkey water here. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this on the whole juice setting. I just want to show you this. This is how we get our coconut. This is 25 pounds of coconut. And at the time we paid like $55 for this. I think it's gone up to $65 now. But we're going to be eating healthy. We're going to have to find other avenues to get your food. Because if we're buying it at home, it's going to be too expensive to keep if you have anybody to be one in your house. So if you have a family of five, we've got 15 more seconds and we're going to try to talk about it. Okay, so we're Look at the difference between water and now it is a creamy milk. This is a very popular recipe. I had no idea people were going to love it so much. And we've been doing it for a long time. I would have shared it a long time ago. But um, all you do is pour it through your nut milk bag. And I'm not going to sit here and melt the whole thing so it's to save time. And I usually rinse the pulp out of here before I stick it back in, but I'm going to skip that step. So you see the creamy milk. So I'll do that later. What I'm going to put in it is a little bit of vanilla, organic, some organic chocolate extract, and you can sweeten it with honey. You can use stevia if you like stevia. I don't really care for the aftertaste of stevia. And honey is not low glycemic, so it's important to keep that in mind. I'm going to use some coconut palm sugar, organic. It's low glycemic and it's sustainable. So a little less than two tablespoons of that. And Put in there. Just enough to dissolve the sugar. Now you don't have to put all that stuff in there. And normally, if this is just me, I wouldn't do all those things. But um, to get used to the chia porridge, to develop a taste for how yummy it is, it, some people are used to eating their oatmeal with brown sugar or whatever on it. So this creates a, a similar meal. So all I am doing. It's pouring the chia into the bowl. So it's kind of like making cereal for yourself. You can have as much as you want. This would be like a small serving. So I pour my milk in there. And I'm just going to stir it up for a second until it starts to gelatinize. Now with chia, you can make a chia gel that makes you full and a lot of people um, like to use it for weight loss because it keeps them full and keeps them from overeating. Uh, but the gel is not very appetizing. So I would suggest having your ratio just like you would have like a cereal. You don't have um, too much chia seed to your milk. So and once it starts to gel to nice, you'll have like a little crunch and then it'll be like a soft comfort food like a malto meal or a cream of wheat or kind of like uh, an oatmeal. So that's it. You've got your um, chia porridge. And I was going to show you that you can also make another this into another breakfast. Um, you can pour this into an ice cube tray and freeze and 
make coconut cubes, and then the next time you make you make a batch of milk, you can make like a milkshake, a coconut milkshake, and you can put other things in it, like some shilajit or some um, lucuma. Um, lucuma is just like a really, it's a dried powder, but it's a sweet fruit. And it kind of has like a, a shortbread taste to it. So you can put that in there. You can put some cacao in there and make it into a chocolate milk. So it's a nice um, breakfast uh, drink. Also maca, but um, what I usually do with my maca is I empty my blender and I'll just put some water and some maca in there and blend that up just to get the maca in me. Um, because I don't really care for the taste of maca and I don't want it to ruin my smoothies and my drinks. Um, but maca is amazing. It's a good um, ad adaptogen, so it goes in and it fixes any hormone levels that are out of whack. Um, so excellent, excellent um, root that you can, it comes in the form of a powder though. Um, oh, chia, one more thing. You can put your chia in your smoothies, your fruit smoothies, and it'll help keep you full. So that's it. I hope you enjoy your chia porridge. I'm going to eat mine now. It's, it's been long enough and it's about the perfect texture. So see you next time. I'm so glad to meet all of you on uh, the Facebook page and it's been fun chatting with you and I can't wait to share more ideas with you. See ya.